Uh, you see my transaction history. I think I'm about at 160k. So like a lot of people think I'm a lot more in. I'm like 160k in on Steam records. I like how he's rationalizing. He's like, it's, it's only like they think I'm way more. Actually, guys, I've only spent 160,000. It, it's not that much. Yeah, it, it, that's it. That's it. That's all. That's including all the other Steam games too. So I'm not too sure how much exactly in video. I would say to be fair, 140. But I don't know. Wow. And at first, I really just bought the tent. Like, you know, the tent is like mm -hmm. a must-have for a new player. 100%. Yeah. Holy $49. shit. 4,900 pearls, I think. And uh, sometimes on discount, it's just something that you can repair, something that you can buy HP potions, mana potions, buffs, and whatnot from. And I think that was the first item I ever really got into. And then getting the maids where you can... So that was the bait, man. That was the fucking bait. They 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 get them. They're like they get their claws in them. They're like, all right, we got you now with the little tents. Now we're gonna be able to do other shit too. Oh my god. Take stuff from the storage and sell stuff in the market remotely, not physically being at the NPCs. And that was the second thing I really got. And yeah, then that's useful. later on, it was um, I think two years ago. The only thing I really swiped swiped for was my pen dandy, and back then it was really expensive to swipe. Mm -hmm. it. To swipe? Mm, yeah, you know. That I like how he has like a term for yeah, it. That was the best uh, ratio. And it kept buffing it, but I felt like it wasn't really worth it mm -hmm. up until so more recently, even. Uh, that, that, that brings up a very interesting like uh, thinking process of mine. I just think uh, like they're trying to, it's inevitable almost for. Uh, players who've played a long time two years three years to start quitting because of real life commitments a lot of people start playing when they're students and yeah. they have a job and then they have a wife so same with every other game. family and then they start dropping the game and then like they lose players the only mm -hmm. way for new players to be attracted is to make the entry barrier lower and they're introducing seasonals which is not necessarily a pay-to-win thing they're introducing uh, oasis gear and a lot of these other things to encourage new players to come in. But for new players to really catch up, catch up, I don't think they really need to swipe. Some people want to expedite the process. They don't understand. I think a lot of the new players do not understand how long it used to take people to get the gear they have given to them for free. And that's why they don't need to pay to win. It's so funny for me to see the, uh, the term, dude. It's like they don't need to swipe. Like there's a term for that shit, bro. Some guy said in chat, he's like, damn, man, now I don't feel as bad for spending 60 bucks on Chatterbait. And I mean, of course, if you're one of those um, hardcore PvPers and you really, really want to get all yeah. the gear in the game, I mean, you can feel free to swipe, but like swiping thousands and 10,000 or 100,000 dollars into a game and making that much gains when what you have is not that much different without having to swipe from those. Yeah, who swipe, exactly. I mean, it's a personal preference, I think, at that point. So you think, uh, or or you're saying that, or I guess currently swiping. Uh, uh, I'm assuming you're still currently spending, right, in the game. Yeah, I mean, I buy out all the costume uh, outfits. Uh, the radiant box is purely for uh, my gambling addiction for just rolling. That. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so um, that's what's kind of sad is like they uh, these games they do take advantage of people that do have genuine addictions right they do have genuine problems and the, the games find that and they're able to fixate in on that and take advantage of it it's sad say you're doing it for um not to get ahead necessarily of like so much that um people that don't spend can compete but just because you can yeah mm, what i really swipe for at my point when you're like well let's Put it into different segments. Back then, when I was 660, gear score, when I didn't have full Jesus. I That's swiped insane. For because I really just wanted to be uh, complete, like everything to be done, everything to yeah. be 20. That's a lot. I have 20 on my gear, on my weapon, full pen accessories. Like, I really wanted that. That's why mm -hmm. I swiped when I was around 660. Pen is like, imagine, like, so like pen is like five upgrades, and that's like if you, it's like max Titan Forge. Like, imagine if, like, you could randomize a Titan Forge. That's, like, max Titan Forge. When I was around 690, 20? it became more of a... Uh, all my friends was, are uh, catching up. 
I need to okay. run away from my friends. And then yeah, it why really pushed five? me. I mean, at 690, I already felt strong enough to I don't beat anybody and uh, die to anybody still because, you know, Kira is only so useful in this game when you're First 15, then five more. Yes, yes. Like, you get plus 15, then you have five more. Yeah, yeah. 700. You're fighting against somebody who's 660, who's got around 300. 15 is easy, though. 300 and up AP with Kudam or Nuver, they will, they will one combo you if they're a good player, right? Yeah. After succession, I don't think it matters anymore. Succession it, classes can just melt you regardless of your tankiness. Yeah, it just becomes so irrelevant. And that's why I kind of regret swiping that much. But at the same time, right? I look back sometimes at my um, VODs and my history, and I realize a lot of the money I put into this game yeah. is wasted. Let's say. True! When I very um, true, there was one period of time where I decided to sell all my TED accessories. That was, that was before I had uh -huh. full pen. I sold all my TED accessories, and I bought out costumes from the market and from the purse. Jesus shop, Christ! Yeah, no shit. More TED accessories. Swiper, no swiping. And just getting all those TED accessories back after selling them, that alone cost me ten k US dollars, just like for no reason. I spent that, and that is one incident. Another more stupid swiper no swiping. I, I love um, that. That's so good. When I got so bored, I decided to start swiping, tap pen armor, sold them, got the Ooh. silver, started tapping Manos accessories, which is a whole, whole new world basically in this game. Manos accessories, I'm sure everybody who's done analysis out there knows that it's just not worth going for Tet, but I just kept tapping, kept tapping. When I get Tet, I sell Tet up, I try. When I fill everything, I swipe again. I liquidate all the costumes I buy off the pearl shop. I buy Manos, I tap again, and that's another 30, 40K wasted. So there's a lot. Bro, this is like, a, this guy explains it in the same way that somebody explains going to a casino. You know what I mean? Like they're exp he's explaining going to a casino. That's at least like the, the vibe that I get from it, man. And this game, just that much you can pay for it, you know? There's not infinite things you can really buy in this game, unless you have gambling issues and you just want to swipe. Do you think you have gambling Swipe. Mm, I think for me, it's just, yeah. it's for the entertainment. It's like, it's for the, <laughs> I like the, the pivot, you know? Uh, do you have gambling issues? It's for entertainment. Yeah, it, yeah, it's for entertainment, man. I don't want to dive too much into like real life and everything for me, but like, uh, in my case, it's more of a, uh, I need something to do when I have He's nothing boring. else going on in real life. Like my family isn't living with me. I am alone in the U.S. Uh, my my girlfriend's out here. Of like, there's just a bunch of factors that factor in. And then Corona season, you don't go out. You're literally stuck home and you have nothing else to do. And that's that's a big reason why I think I swiped doing um February and March the hardest. I I swiped. That's really sad, man. Real shit, that's sad. Like, I mean, you, you could talk about, like, all that other shit or whatever, but, like, that's actually sad. Like, o overall, something like a bore, bore, uh, loser attitude, to be honest. Well, yeah, no, the thing is, like, yeah, obviously, like, at the end of the day, yeah, the guy's a loser, right, for doing it. But at the same time, people are just more complicated than that. Yeah, people are more complicated. No, I'm sure he might have a girlfriend. Sure, why not? Uh, of course. It's not like it, it's impossible to have a girlfriend. I think 2K a day for a whole month, which is like 60K for that month. Have a girlfriend is cheaper? No, as I said, this is the funniest fucking thing, man. My dad, like I told my dad, my dad watched the Chipotle stream and he saw Cutie Cinderella win $1 and he saw Ludwig win $10,000. And he said, he asked me, he's like, are they together? I'm like, yeah, they're together. He's like, oh, that's fine then, because she's going to get most of it anyway. <laughs> like, not nonchalant. Yeah, nonchalant, just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true, dude. <laughs> true, dude. And that was the hardest wipe, I think, in a month okay. for me. I think an interesting question would be, if you're comfortable with it, is this okay. wiping, so you say 2K a day at the peak, right? Is this is wiping affecting your life with your income or is this 2k just you don't even need to look at your balance oh i mean to be honest for me like I, I tell everybody who watches um my stream i live a self-sufficient lifestyle but yeah at the same time 
you also have to keep in mind a lot of people have to take care of their families, their parents, True. especially in our Asian culture. You really, it's like you have to take care of your parents. And however, my of parents course. are just well off, so I do not need to worry at all for them. And I yeah. think having that not being a burden for me allows me to spend my money more freely than That's other true. people would because they still have a lot more concerned a lot no, i feel the same way actually like yeah i i do feel the same way there is it you never know like if something comes up you, you you might need to help your parents out for like x or y thing or whatever like yeah a hundred percent spoil those here we go like no the thing is like born into money yeah i mean some people are are, are born rich that's the way it goes you get pissed off about that like it sucks for sure because it's not fair but i mean that, that what what are you gonna do just get state like I, there's like there's no like okay like now what spawn rng to yeah exactly be concerned about than i do so it doesn't really uh for your question it doesn't really let me look at my bank and be like oh there's a change there's a no i don't notice i think you swipe how ever much you feel comfortable with as long as it's not hurting you or affecting your lifestyle i think that's healthy i would say that's where an addiction gambling addiction comes from right if you're spending more than you can actually afford yeah and that's where it starts to be problematic yeah i agree as long as you're not hurting yourself or people around you for the money you're spending i think nobody should judge how much you spend in the game and how much how you decide to use the money you earned most people are in around their twenties. Even the idea of spending. I feel like anybody would be pissed off about that shit, though. Like, because no, nah, this is not true. Because like, if some fucking dipshit is going around spending real money, making your experience worse because they're killing you because they spend a bunch of fucking money, and you expect to not get, you expect people to not get pissed off about that. You expect them to not get pissed off about that shit. Of course, they're gonna get fucking mad. Thousand a day in a game is um, is definitely crazy. Or I would say a lot of. Uh of people and also i guess that's where the, the bad connotation the negative connotation around the whales come from yeah mm, about the whales i just feel like uh if you decide to spend your time in the game let's say if i decide not to work and i decide to spend the same amount of time in the game i don't think i'd make as much gains as i do now like i just work in real life i make the money i make and then i spend it in the game portion of it in the game and then oh yeah it still leaves me extra money and i think it's just that's true you decide on what you want to do you could be a whale with money or you can be a whale with time right time is money too you have to keep that in mind it's like it definitely is true what he's saying is true i mean obviously there are people there's like all kinds of different privileges and things like that that people have access to like if you've got a job and you have to work you know let's say 50 hours a week 40 hours a week you're going to be at a disadvantage against somebody who uh, lives with their mom and plays video games all day. Like, absolutely. I think the reason, though, is like for a lot of games, people want to that they want to have that. They, they want to have that opportunity to come out ahead if they spend more time rather than spending more money. Because like everybody's time is like to some degree equal, right? You spend an hour, they spend an hour, both of you just spend an hour. But like if one guy spends an hour at their job and they make $100 and you spend an hour at your job, then you make $8.25, $8.25. Uh, you know, that's, that's a huge difference. If you decide to whale away 20 hours of your day, a day every day for a year into BDO, so be it. I mean, that's a yeah. whale of time, I guess. It's either a whale of money or whale of time. It's your choice. It's a grinding game. That's why I, I quit. <laughs> you probably will get the same year. That's why I quit now. right there. Exactly. Because he's right. BDO is, as you mentioned, right? You, you I guess you, you said you have um, some form of regret because people are catching up. The BDO has always been about progression. Do you spend money knowing that the progression that you get from it? will eventually just get nullified by the game uh, going forward. I think the catching up mechanisms in games are necessary. And I think if you ask me, am I mad about it? I don't think I'm actually mad because what I paid for it is for the entertainment at the present, at the moment. At that moment, yeah, it's true. I become stronger. That's a good, that's that's a good mindset to have. It's just like when you... That, that actually is a good a mindset to have. doesn't really have any... Uh, well, no pay to win. Let's say League of Legends, no pay to win. Mm -hmm. You buy a skin. After a few days or a few weeks, you're sick of that skin. Do you regret it? I feel like half the people would say, yeah, I regret buying that skin. I don't think it was worth it. There's a new skin Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's essentially the same thing. It's for that moment of entertainment and enjoyment that you spend the money for. 
And if you regret it later on, too bad. You had your fun. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to move on. You said you, you did regret spending so much. Is there anything specific you regret spending in video? Oh, Manos <laughs> accessories was the most regrettable. Manos is just painful. Like I strongly recommend against it for all new players coming into the game. It's, yeah, I would you hope might be so. Lucky. You might hit a few tries in a row. You might hit four, five, six, seven tries in a row. And then you'll be like me and you fail like 12, 13, 15, 16, 17 tries in a row. And you'd be like, that's straight up oh gambling. My. Yeah, that is, that, that's bait. straight up gambling. And then you go for tets. I hit two tets back to back on a Manos accessory, which is approximately 34 build back then. And then I went for more, right? And I lost all eight attempts and failed everything. Straight up gambling. So I straight up like 100p gambling. Money. Especially after failing, I yep. decided to start swiping and selling costumes to refill that silver and keep tapping. And I think that's just a money sink, which nobody should really go into. Mm, it's just gambling in general. That's just pure gambling and wasting money. Oh, I'm going to pause gear, it right there you, whenever you didn't we finish. spend much at the start, right? How much gear you had before going uh, full pay to win and how much you got after or how fast you got here afterwards? I think back then, the only thing that I really, really swiped for was mm -hmm. my uh, pet and dandy, and that was about five six k. I think for pet and dandy alone it was five six k. Did he say only? There's no way he said only. He did. Jesus. And then um, uh, maybe uh, I think I might have swiped two pen pieces back then. I was like about maybe eight k in total, and that was when. Like um, costumes were 80 mil, 100 mil each, the premium. And that was when um, you really had to swipe for it. If you really wanted to uh, cheat or be ahead of the curve. Swipe or no swiping. So that Jesus. was when I was about, let's say, 269 and 300 and oh my 20, God. which is very high gear score back then. Like I'm talking about two years ago when um, level 63 was still amazing. Now, I mean, after, I think this year alone, I probably swiped about 90, 100. Last year, probably 30. And the year before that, about 10, 20. So, like, it became a uh, increment. This year, I think, still, I still think the main reason this year is because of Corona season, because mm -hmm. I have nothing else to do. Otherwise, I go out and drink, go out and um, eat and dine. And, I mean, I my lifestyle outside of BDO is also pretty luxurious. I do... Uh, spend on a lot of things expensive food expensive uh clothes that's that crazy to me that like people spend that much money yeah that's just that's that's nuts like i i'm i don't know why people spend that much money on shit like i've never understood it i've never gotten it he's a normie well it's just it's not it, it's just not my thing brands all these michelin restaurants it's just like you just save a lot of money from it and you just like Hmm, I still want to get the same entertainment I used to get. Let's perhaps swipe on BDO. At first, it was entertaining. Jesus. And then it became Manos. And then Manos just doomed me. Jesus. And then now I'm just focused on Devereka Necklace, as you can see. All right. Oh, um, my you, God. You mentioned the, the, I guess you played older games. You played well, well before. Oh, my fucking God. Um, do you play older games with BDO, beside BDO, or is BDO like your only game right now? I play uh, Team Fight Tactics from League, right? That's a pretty fun game. I play uh, a little bit of Classic WoW because my friends wanted me to play at level 60 and I stopped playing because they all quit. I uh, play, a lot play of some League of Legends, play some Sea of Thieves. All right, that, that's about the other games, games, everything like that. I'm not going to worry about that other shit too much. Why does the game need you? Why does the game need free True. players what is the relationship well it's actually quite strange whales and free-to-play players have a symbiotic relationship they both need each other to survive the okay. whales need the free players to whale over the yeah. free players are the measuring mark the yardstick yeah. that the whales can then beat can then rise above the that's why people like that so that's what that was my whole example of why i thought servers like warmain were lying about their population is because they have an in-game cash shop and the in-game cash shop's value is like why would you buy an item on a server that has 100 players on it in an item with a server that has a thousand players or ten thousand players or twenty thousand players on it it's going to have a comparative larger value because you're going to be able to lord it over more people
So yeah, like this is the uh, this is the same stuff, and that's why yeah, this is totally fucking accurate. This is the best way to say it. The free-to-play players are the masses that the whales come along and crush. The free players are the mm -hmm. unprepared army that the overpowered whale crushes under their gold-plated boot. This is yeah. why many games give you, as a free player, just enough power and just enough premium currency to make you think you're making progress. But if you ever do meet a whale, especially in a PvP game, you're you will not be going absolutely to. outmatched and outclassed every single time. See, like, for me, I don't understand why somebody would play a game like that. Like, the moment that I realized that somebody would have, like, an advantage over me because they paid real money, I would just quit the game. Like, I, I would just immediately, I just immediately quit the game. Like, is, there's no, like, there's no point to play it. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, WoW? Like, WoW does have that to an extent. Yeah, sure. But, like, it's not, like... If you're like, if you really think like, yeah, WoW does have like BOEs, you can buy BOEs or something like that. But if you're legitimately like losing to other players because that player has purchased an advantage for real money that is not accessible to you realistically or absolutely, then that is totally different than buying a BOE item off of the auction house, guys. I'm sorry to say. It is a completely different situation. This article on Super Forbes Wales. explores how mobile games generate roughly 50% of their income from only- Why it's scary that only 0.15% of mobile gamers bring in 50% of the revenue. Wow, it's just like real life. That's crazy. Oh my god, Giga Whales, yeah. The article does explain how people who buy offline console games yeah. may spend hundreds of hours in them, but very rarely do they, they spend, spend extra money. money past yeah. the original purchase price. But online games are very different. They thrive off allowing people to pay to win. Over on Wired, we get this yeah. article, where we start to see the real big spending make an appearance. In the article, they interviewed a successful businessman referred to as Lee. Lee explains how he often comes in from a hard day's work, opens up Clash of Clans, and drops around a thousand dollars a month. Lee actually says in the article that gaming has helped him save money, because usually he would spend- That's actually a really good point! Upwards of six thousand dollars a night out with his friends, so- th That's the thing, it's like, I- the you, like, you can meme on this, but, like, I have friends of mine that fucking spend this money. Like, they'll go out and they'll, like, go buy and fucking... Yeah, no, I'm not... 6000 a night is... That, that's, that's outrageous even for a lot of the people that I know. But, like, still, I, it's like people spend this much money at bars all the time. I'm not surprised at all. Like, now, like, whenever you look at it from that perspective, right? Yeah, it makes total sense. Cocaine's expensive? I don't know about that. As fan as hooker habit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know about it. This was actually the cheaper version for him. This mm -hmm. is the kind of person we're dealing with. The article yeah. then introduces us to a player known only as Panda, who at the time was one of the top 10 Clash of Clans players in the world. He brags about Why spending upwards of $7,000 a month, which he states is around 7% of his total monthly income, meaning this guy is making $100,000 a month. Let so what? It's st that's still stupid. That's still stupid. Like, are you kidding me? That they, like that's still so dumb, man. More than taxes, yeah. Only a hundred k a month, yeah. You're you're only making a hundred k a month. You're spending seven percent of it on Clash of Clans. Oh my God. And he justified his expense with, you want to be the top. Once you've spent $200, what's another 200 There are even articles True. written online about how to encourage True. and capture whales inside your game. Because finding yep. a whale is a massive market. But these are mobile games. That Isn't this like basically what streamers do whenever they find like one donator that'll give them a lot of money? This is kind of the same exact thing now that I think about it. Hot tub whales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they get in the water because that's where the whales are at. <laughs>